the handsome and charming Siddharth Malhotra and the gorgeous and ravishing Rashmika Mandana. Sid, Rashmika. What's up? Am I allowed to say welcome to Mission Majnu? <laughs> yes, we, we were welcomed the last <laughs> month also. Yeah, yeah. The teaser dropped in, but today our trailer comes out. Are you guys excited to see the trailer? You know, they're so excited, Sid. I have to say, when you walked in, there is a level of enthusiasm that's there in this, um, in this hall that nobody was clapping because they're like, phone pakar ke sab bedhe ki, oh, ek shot na miss ho jai, na Sid ka, na Rashmika ka, na trailer ka. Guys, I promise you, we're not going to play the trailer once. We could be playing it more times than once. But um, Sid, more importantly, you know, um, considering we're on the subject of Mission Majnu, can I just ask you a very important question? Do you prefer being on mission or do you think that you're more of a majnu? <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> being a majnu comes from being extremely passionate and I think you can't accomplish anything in life if not passionate. So I think bilkul, jazbaat hai, passion hai, to majnu hu. So you're a majnu for your mission? Yes. <laughs> Majnu for my mission, for my own passion. <laughs> How nice. I mean, everyone would like a majnu like that, right? Well, speaking, the, uh, speaking about a majnu like that, now imagine if your character Nasreen, Rashmika, were to wake up one day and realize that the person she is in real life, like imagine if Rashmika were to wake up and realize that the person or the partner she's with is actually an undercover agent. How would you react? As in she wouldn't know, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, eventually you know. If you catch him. Oh my God. Him. If I catch him. If that mission him. is unsuccessful from his part. <laughs> no, I will keep it a secret and support him in his mission. Wow. Wow. I mean, what love ki aap dono… Matlab twist, itta bada twist ki suddenly… Yaan pe… Maybe these are hints for the film guys, you never know. Yaan pe apne mission ke liye majnu ban rahe hai, ye apne majnu ke liye matlab… Mission pe ja rahi hai. There's… You guys are really well cast. Itni aasani se inko convince kar diya aapne ki… Meri asliyat ye nahi hai. Okay. She said okay. Pehle to pyaar hai na. So I think because of the love… Anyone will do anything. Wow. So you go to any lens for love. Yes. Lovely. Wow, Rashmika. No wonder. I mean, like, you know, even the nation goes to any lengths to love you back. Oh, thank you. And you, Sid, of course. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of, uh, about love, we know that there's… Netflix is a platform that we all love, but more importantly, your first time and your first time. I'm going to shoot this question right at both of you. Sid, your thoughts. You're on Netflix for the first time. What are your thoughts? I think it's a great platform for a subject like this. Mission Majnu, um, you know, talks about a real life incident, uh, obviously which is fictionalized because of the subject. Uh, it's a covert operation that India did in the 1970s. Uh, we all watch content on Netflix today and I think this is the first time we are bringing it to, their, to your homes and, uh, you know, entertaining you right in the comfort of your homes. So hopefully we'll all uh, get the love right back that we've tried to put across. So looking forward to 20th of Jan, guys. Yes, absolutely. You should underline that date, 20th of Jan. And Rashmika, what are your thoughts? I'm truly very excited uh, for my Netflix debut. I think <laughs> I am totally looking forward to it. And of course, we are in a space where um, everyone at uh, every home have access to, you know, Netflix. And I'm so glad to uh, Debut. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to this. Thank you. Well, that's absolutely wonderful. But the one thing that we're looking forward to is, of course, the trailer. And what better way to do it than to have the lead couple on stage with us? Are we ready? Yeah. I don't even think we'll have to go as far as five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to let you cue it. Are we ready? Yes, ma'am. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Go for it, Sid. All right. The trailer has been a complete success. And I love it. You know, I was watching the two of you. You're smiling. You're looking at it. Sid, you're also at bit. You know, there was a point. I don't know how many of you saw Sid uh, in real because they, you were all busy watching him in the trailer. He's like... <laughs> like, he was so impressed. I mean, isn't this great that you're impressed with your own trailer because yeah, it's we so good? excited the fact with how it's looking on the big screen yeah. uh, with the correct sound and everything when it all comes together. Uh, everyone works really hard as a team, uh, but eventually they all become, all of us become 
uh, emotional or nervous on the day of release, on the week of release. So of we're course. like a few weeks away from release and uh, this is our trailer. So we're extremely eager and excited to showcase the film. What are your thoughts as soon as you saw it? I absolutely love it. Do you guys like it? <laughs> yeah, my reaction is the same. <laughs> I'm truly, um, oh, what can I say? I'm short in words, but uh, it's nice to watch it on the big screen. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And you both, I mean, I have to say this and I've never said this publicly. Every time I see you both on the big screen or even on my phone or wherever else, I mean, not that I'm stalking you, maybe a few days I am, but <laughs> I'm like, these two have no bad angles. Like, where are your bad angles? I have this entire side, which is a bad angle, but you guys have no bad angles. No, you're just being too kind. It's good technology, good <laughs> cameraman, and everything. Teams. Great makeup. We can, yeah, great makeup. <laughs> we can just, we have so many facilities today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a great team, yeah? A team. Yes. All right. Well, speaking of A team, we um, are going to do the honors of inviting the rest of the cast and, of course, some very important people who are the forces behind Mission Majno. Please put your hands together and cheer them on as I call them on stage. Can we have on stage Parmeet Sethi, Shareb Hashmi, our director, Shantnu Bakchi, producers Ronnie Skruwala, Amar Batala, Mission Majno. Are we all settled? Monica's not coming. Okay. We're missing Monica. Yeah, where is she? Come, come, come. Yeah, we have a seat. <laughs> With your name on we it. Can't, we can't start this one without you, Monica. Yes. <laughs> Come. I know that, uh, firstly, welcome everyone. Good evening. I know we've all met backstage, but here yeah, I'm just going to do the formal thing so we don't look rude in front of them, right? <laughs> well, but more importantly, take a, good, take a good look at our A team. It's right here. And, uh, you know, Shantanu, I'm going to start with you. Um, so if, if, you know, it's your debut film as a director and you have a lead pair like Sid and Rashmika. Now, what's the one thing that you were in complete awe of when, when you were shooting with Sid and likewise with Rashmika? Right. Uh, thank you. Uh, basically, uh, when uh, a director gives a context and knows what he's shooting, uh, the most wonderful experience is when the actors go beyond his expectation. Okay, so that's something I felt many, many times while uh, shooting this film. And I think uh, that's just fantastic, you know, because you know you are expecting the scene to be at a certain level, performance to be at a certain level, but uh, they go beyond your expectation. And it has happened many times. Yep. Yeah, I know we can see that. I mean, I'm going to come back to sit with those questions, the going beyond your expectation <laughs> ones. But this is, it's a, it's a you know, you can, you can tell that even uh, both of them have really been like, you know, they've been taken to a point where the performance is just, you don't know where to look, who to get your eyes on, and, and the entire package looks fantastic. So many congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Parmeet, I'm going to um, move on to you. Sure. You always come with a promise. What's your promise this time? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think my promise this time is that this mission that the producer and the director and uh, Netflix have is going to be successful. And uh, it's, not very, it's, it's not very easy to get everything right. I, I believe in this film, I think whether it's the acting, the direction, the, every department of the film has got it right, I think. So I think it's a complete film and I hope everybody likes it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's the, there are many things that have been tackled in, as far as this film is concerned. There's romance, there's action, there's, there's drama, and then, you know, the entire package of it being a family film. And like true, you said, you true. know, just about getting it, it right. Um, Sharab, I'm going to just come to you. Speaking of, you know, you always, you always get it right. Like, there's a mission, mission. Um, uh, there was that line of your suicide mission. Hai. But what is your mission? Hai aapka? Like, how does it happen? Do the good parts just come to you? Or you go to the good parts? Matlab, what's, the, what's the deal? Like, how are you... What happens to yes. the rest of the actors around? First of all, thank you very much. And happy new year. Happy new year, friends. <laughs> मैं मतलब जो आपने कहा उसके लिए मैं इतना ही कह सकता हूँ कि दिल के खुश रखने को शारीब ये ख्याल अच्छा है नहीं नहीं ये ख्याल नहीं है ये पूरी पूरी असलियत है मैं मतलब I I can only say that I'm I've been really really fortunate that I've got 
really good opportunities uh, to work with really beautiful people jo yahan par bhi kafi isme se baithe hain aur main i'm so proud that this is my first film on the net on on netflix and oh uh, yours too all right yeah. many congratulations <laughs> thank you thank yeah. you to main to bahut is waqt khushi se phoola nahi samara hu amar pa ji garima hum bahut purane dost hain ye produce kar rahe hain film to mere liye rohni sir siddharth rashmika <laughs> monica <laughs> मैं तो इस वक्त बहुत खुश हूँ और उम्मीद करता हूँ लोगों को मेरी ये खुशी फिल्म में भी ट्रांसलेट होगी और लोगों को फिल्म भी पसंद आएगी इन जी बिल्कुल हमने जितना देखा है जो रिएक्शन मतलब जो होता है ना एक बहुत जरूरी होता है चाहे नो मैर वॉट यूर डूइंग इन इंडिया जब आपको सी टी मार प्रोमो मिलता है या सी टी मार ट्रेलर मिलता है सो यू ऑलरेडी नो यू आर ऑन अ ग्रेट विकेट मतलब यू आर अहेड बाय बाय लीप्स एंड बाउंड तो वो वाला जो टेस्ट है वो पास हो गया है अभी पाँच मिनट वैसे ये फिल्म मेरे लिए और स्पेशल इसलिए है मेरी वाइफ का बर्थडे है ट्वेंटी एथ जैन को और मेरी बेगम का नाम है नसरीन Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> really. <laughs> That's her character name and yeah. <laughs> ये picture आपके लिए तो नहीं बनी ना? आप से सिर्फ एक सवाल है आप आप अभी undercover तो नहीं है ना? अच्छा फिर ठीक है. मैं undercover हूँ. अच्छा. फिर फिर ठीक है. You know, I said I'm going to come to you and I've been wanting to ask you this question ever since uh, Shantanu, um, you know, spoke about the two of you, and the the action is impeccable. like the, i i can't i don't see you keeping your feet on the ground and as you shouldn't also be keeping your feet on the ground after we've seen this trailer did you like have to go the extra mile cuz this is the ne- this is next level action so um i think mission majnu is not entirely an action film i mean it's a stuff to call that but we do have sequences where it's extremely thrilling um it's a spy thriller first and i think uh, what Uh, the writers and and the producers and even our directors try just to keep it a little more authentic in real world where a spy would never jump out with guns blazing it's not a james bond character but there are certain situations in the film where uh, uh, where he has to resort to uh, some extreme action the the train action that you see here uh, was something that we are very excited about uh, as a team and uh, this was my first time doing action on top of a train as a classic uh, hero um so i loved it i think i think uh, it adds to to the thrill of the film uh, we've done many we like, shot this sequence in in lucknow we shot the sequence in bombay we even did some underwater sequence to complete it um to complete the story of that action sequence um so yeah i think it it's a complete film uh, we live uh, we hopefully true to the genre that we are promising and we're looking forward to the 20th of jan now Absolutely, you find um, a mainstream hero on a train, and I'm telling you, it's a recipe for success. With the wind and yes. hawa, chalri or something. Last time we did Shole. Shole, thi bhai. Train ka sequence. In 1970s, the the same collar thing. I was excited actually to play 1970s. I could wear, I could ape my my idol like Mr. Bachchan. I think he's. I've only seen his films. I wasn't in the 70s, obviously uh, there, but. Uh, I really enjoyed it man I think Shareb has a cool look he's got the maximum <laughs> 70s like he's got a he's got a locket which says love oh. and he's he's wearing the shades and and this guy is the most colorful Side. one yeah sideburns sara 70s iske costume mein dal diya humne yeah so baaki has... picture mein thoda kam rakha hai humne see Shareb we're not we're not doing this but ye to inka pyar hai Shantanu sir ka aur kya Well, you know, um, Ronnie, we can't have you on stage and have you quiet for this long. So, um, my next question is to you. <laughs> you know, um, no one better to answer this question but you. As a producer, what was it like? What was that one point? I know it's never one thing, but what was that one thing where you were just like, okay, this is it. I'm not going to let go of Mission Marshall as a project, and I'm definitely going to back it. So, you know, we all talk about uh, events that are close to true, true events, and movies and stories that need to be done there. I think most of the time when we're visualizing biopics and true events it's about what you know. But I think the untold stories make even more greater cinema, make greater storytelling. And I think Mission Marjanu is exactly that. It's about a behind the scenes. It's about the people, the unsung heroes. It's about the people who actually make the difference. It's about not the true events that we know of that we averted something. It's about the true events of things that we didn't even know about. because today in the real world about one event you hear there are 399 that incredibly brave men and women around the world are saving us and i think that to me was the bullseye for why this script this story has a very strong appeal 
I mean, and, and, you know, the way you say it, it just makes us even more, like, you know, um, I, would, I would almost be like, I'm, I'm restless now because I want to watch it because it's a story which is based on, on true events, true, it's, it, and at the same time, like you said, it's the unsung heroes. So we want to definitely know more about uh, them. Sounds extremely interesting. Um, Amar, I'm just going to come to you. Thank you for taking the mic and <laughs> staying ready for my question. So, you know, every time there's a script around patriotism, so, you know, it, it's already a winner because we are, as, as Indians, we're so um, patriotic all through the year. Now, of course, being the, the timing of it is corrected me. It's not just action. It's got romance and, and you know, um, it's, it's a watch for the entire family to sit down together and be like, okay, this is what we're going to watch. So as a producer, when you're backing a project like this, do you think of all these layers or you're like, okay, this idea is great and then we build up on it? I just want to say one thing before that because you kept saying action and romance. There's a story. There's an incredible yes. story here. Yes. So I just want to say And that. an incredible story which is, which is, you know, based on true events. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to know, so how does, how does it all come together for you? So, you know, actually, um, I think we, we don't tell enough stories about our raw agents. Um, what they do across borders in enemy land, uh, we just, we don't know enough. You know, we, we know the James Bond, we know the big action films that, uh, you know, which is far away from what really happens to our heroes there. And I think for us, Mission Mushroom was a personal account of what raw agents go through and what their struggles are, you know, the duality of their lives. Um, and I think that personalization is really what the big USP of uh, the script is. And I think that's what we hope will, uh, you know, is something that the audiences will pick up as well. I'm sure they will. Um, Rashmika, I'm going to ask you, um, you know, a question which is based a little bit more about the music, which we haven't spoken about enough. Uh, some of the tracks have caught on. We're seeing, uh, listening to a few tracks, even in the middle of the trailer. Right at the end, there's this really nice patriotic track. So that's the music of it. When we see the two of you together in a romantic track, there is, you know, as an on-screen Jody, if I, you know, if you give me permission to use that word, you both look fantastic. What was it like, day one with Sid on set? What was that for you like? Hmm. Which, do you remember the scene? Oh no, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was such a um, quick, like I think uh, after the COVID, first, um, first lockdown is when we shot and um, those 20 days, 25 days, uh, 25 days was my scared and I remember just being on set very nervous because this was um, the first Hindi film that I had shot and <laughs> I was very nervous with uh, I didn't know uh, for sure what sort of working atmosphere it was and of course every new team that you walk into every new character that you're doing and the story that you're saying um, sort of like you have that butterflies in your tummy right <laughs> before you walk into a, a set but I think I remember that first uh, scared in Lucknow was, it was very quick <laughs> because I miss it so much. We had such a blast. Um, we were constantly creatively on a high because uh, we wanted to sort of like get it right, you know? And I remember doing that, we had rehearsals, we had uh, readings and at the same time we would go to the set and um, you know, it was like quick work and um, yeah, it was, it was just like so amazing. I want to go back in time. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a great review from day one at work. Um, Garima, I'm just going to come to you. You know, being a producer, it's, it's all about, like I would imagine, that it's all about making choices and now about, you know, getting the action or the right director or getting romance and of course, um, you know, what story you want to back. So what are the big choices that you had to make when it came to Mission March No? Well, um, good evening, everyone. Uh, see, life is about making choices, right? And for this film, I think what binds us all together is the passion and the belief we had in the story. And then everything just flowed. I think we all just came together and hopefully the film has come together very well and hopefully all of you will enjoy it. Absolutely. We're loving every bit of what we're seeing right now, uh, whether it was on the big screen and even on stage. Uh, Monica? 
right before we open it out to um, the members of the press and everyone in the audience, my question to you, 11 days to go, um, what about Mission Majnu will um, strike a chord with the viewers of Netflix? I think it's a film with a big, big heart. And I think that's what really, for me, that's what mattered when I, uh, you know, sort of saw it, when I came to know about the story. And uh, everyone's performances have come together so well. It's phenomenal direction. And I think the most important thing is that it's a, it's a story that we all must know. It's such an important uh, part of history. But like Ronnie rightly said, uh, and Amar, that a lot of people don't know what's happened behind the scenes. It's one of the most daring covert missions. And uh, I think as Indians, as uh, people in this, uh, citizens of this country, uh, this film is, uh, uh, you know, important at so many levels. But the most important thing for me is that it's big entertainment. It's big hearted entertainment. It has everything for a family to watch. And for me, when I'm looking at stories or we are all as a team picking up stories, it's very important that you're not just telling a story for a message. You have to entertain your audiences. And I think this film is so complete in its entertainment that I don't think once you start watching it that you can stop. I uh, fully agree with you. I mean, I've definitely marked my calendars. Thank you so much uh, for talking to us. We're not letting you go. We're going to open it out to um, everyone in the hall. And of course, Sirf Gyara Din Ka Intezar and Mission Majnu will be on Netflix for us to watch. A kahani jo ab tak kisi ne nahi suni, us kahani ko Netflix hum tak la raha hai. But jo baat mujhe sabse pyari lag rahi hai is the whole flavor of, um, you know, of course, a love for the country. Hum sab majnu hai desh ke liye. And I'm sure jab film release hogi, hum majnu, mission majnu ke liye bhi ban jayenge. I've said that many times, right? It's almost like a tongue twister. So uh, um, I'm going to do exactly what all of you want me to do right now. Keep quiet and uh, open it out. So members of the press, audience, anybody, questions, please feel free to ask. Hi. Hi, out here. Yes. Okay. Lady at the back, Hello. please. Hi, oh, out here. Hi. Okay, wow. Okay. Alice Peter from Bollywood Hangama. Uh, first of all, such an amazing trailer. Congratulations, you guys, for this one. Can't wait for it. Uh, my question's for Siddharth. Uh, when you play a role like this, where enough about it is out there for people to know, but yet there are moments where a lot is hidden, how do you prepare for a role like that? And how easy or difficult was it for you to switch between being a man on a mission and a man who's a majnu? Uh, so I think we, we actually technically don't know much about such covert missions because the purpose of it is to keep it a secret. Um, none of the teams can really come out and claim they've done that or we'll never get the exact details. But now possibly 50 years later, we know uh, connecting the dots and uh, that's what our writers I have, have done all the homework to make sure that we get the right balance of being authentic and yet add our flavor of, uh, uh, you know, commercial cinema onto it to make it a streamlined story. Uh, so the character that I play or we play are completely fictitious, but the events that happen in it is, uh, are real, uh, something that have happened. Um, and we, uh, we did a lot of readings and workshop. I remember in my house, be it, you know, Amar, Garima, uh, Shantanu, we would just sit down and start uh, doing readings of the script and coming up with ideas as to uh, what and how we can do the particular scene. Um, even this sewing machine right here, this old school one, I've, um, possibly the same one that I've practiced and rehearsed on for that one scene, um, trying to get the actual uh, authentic way of uh, making clothes in 1970s. Um, and I think uh, the rest was something that we've all tried, you know, every scene was different, uh, every scene had a different flavor, so we're really excited for the 20th of Jan now. For people, this is my first time playing a spy, so I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what people think. And sit on a scooter for the first time as well, so… Yeah, even the scooter, even the, the 70s scooter with that lovely color, what, what do you call that color? Lambrata, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah? Oh, yeah. that color is uh, some, such a unique… Yeah. there's a name for it which none of us know. <laughs> so that, that 70s scooter and this, uh, this sewing machine for me. Hi, Monica. All right. Hello. Hi, Pooja here from Awesome TV. Uh, congratulations to the entire team. The trailer looks simply awesome. Uh, my question is to uh, the director, Shantanu Bagchi. So the film is set in 1970s. So what were the most important elements you wanted to focus on to bring 1970s in life? 
uh, uh, first of all, as uh, Sid has uh, already talked about, uh, that uh, he is uh, driving a scooter, which normally in a Hindi film, a uh, hero will not drive, right? Uh, the way you have seen the trailer, you have seen the glimpses of it, that uh, what is the environment, what is that world, what kind of uh, costume they are wearing, what kind of vehicles you see, uh, how the other people, the streets, or the architecture, okay, uh, which uh, has to resonate with the time period, which is uh, this happening at between 1974 and 1977. So these are the elements one would go for and try to see that if we can create that feel, okay, which is authentic, where your story blossoms, right? Okay, Sid, yeah. it's your birthday month, so firstly, happy birthday in advance. Oh, thank you. And you're already treating all your fans with this amazing, beautiful trailer and the film this month. So, what are your plans apart from Mission Majnu promotions? Is um, to release it on 20th of Jan. I hope <laughs> it all goes by plan now. Uh, well, I, I think uh, it's, it's exciting every time to, to present a film, and this time I think it's after many years, it probably it's on my birthday month. So uh, hopefully that's my gift to my all of my fans is to entertain them on the 20th of Jan. Hi, Mo hi, Monica. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Netflix, of course, is starting the year with a bang with Mission Majnu. What else can we expect from 2023? I think we are very excited that, like you rightly said, uh, starting with a bang with Mission Majnu, we have a lot of uh, big series and films coming. We have amazing creators and talent coming. Uh, I think we are starting with Mission. We, we've already announced uh, Archie's, which will also come later this year. We have Rana Naidu. We have a very powerful uh, um, series coming, actually, this um, What's the date today? Today is uh, 9th. Yes, on 13th, we have a series called Trial by Fire, uh, which is a very powerful series on the Upar cinema tragedy, which happened in Delhi. Uh, and uh, we have Guns and Gulabs by Rajan DK. We have Vishal Bhardwaj's Khufia. And a lot of, I mean, I, I could, Hansel Mehta's Coop. So a lot of amazing uh, sort of films and series that are coming, a lot of nonfiction, some very powerful documentaries. But I think today is about Mission Majnu, and I'm just really happy that uh, this really powerful film is going to open the original film slate for us this year. Uh, hey guys, Shravan Deo from Ismaili. What a fab, fab, fab trailer. Uh, my question is to you, Rashmika. You play a visually impaired uh, lady in the uh, film. Uh, did you undergo a training for it and was it difficult playing this one? Yeah, I went um, to a two week, three week intense training, which was very, very scary to <laughs> say because I remember initially I had to start with just uh, blindfolding myself and I reached to a point where I could make like aloo sabzi without looking. Lighting the, <laughs> lighting the, um, you know, everything, everything. There was a tennis ball, um, you know, thrown at me and I had to close my eyes and catch it, sense it and catch it. And I had to count my steps um, in and out of the um, place I was training at and everything. So this went on for almost uh, two, three weeks and I, I think and wow, that was quite uh, <laughs> hard, <laughs> intense. Yeah, so, but I realized that when one of your senses are, you know, um, taken away, all your other senses just like highlight in and I really, um, as in, I realized this and I think while shooting also, I had to figure out a way uh, which was comfortable for me to maintain throughout the whole, um, you know, uh, performing this character and yeah, I have a technique that I'll tell you later. <laughs> Not right now, but uh, yeah, it was it was very interesting as an actor. But that's yeah. why she has that line, na, ki aap, uh, aapke itar ko humne uh, liya. Itne bhi nahi hai aap. Uh, itne bhi aapke nahi hai ko, because the smell sense is, is something which is heightened, and and that's what we use in the film as well, very very uh, subtly, but I think quite interestingly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hi. 
Uh, Akriti here from Absolute India News. Uh, my question is to the producers of the film. Uh, sir and ma'am, first of all, the trailer looks amazing. Uh, I want to know, like we see, Mission Majnu is a film with stellar cast. Was this something you guys were actively involved with? For, yeah, like for three of you. I'm sorry, the last part I didn't hear you. Uh, was this something you guys were actively involved with? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we worked very close with the director to get this cast together. Um, I think we were lucky that the writers had written some really good parts, not just for Sid and uh, Rashmika, but also, you know, the supporting cast around them. Um, and we had uh, Mukesh Chhabra in our corner who's managed to do some fantastic casting. And yeah, we, we were very involved in trying to get the, the right actors for the parts. Hi, Parmeet. Uh, my question is to you, actually. Is it audible? Yes. Hi, Parmeet. Uh, my question is to you. Uh, you have been around for... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Parmeet, yeah. Okay, hi. <laughs> yes. um, you have been around in the industry for over two decades, right? And you've seen the industry change in ways. But today, I feel it's the most exciting time for actors because you get to perform different kind of roles, which perhaps was not possible earlier, I mean, because of many reasons. Uh, but I want to know from you, what is it that excites you today as an actor? What kind of roles are you really wanting to play in today's time? And what drew you to your character in Mission Majnu, hence? The last part? Uh, what drew you to your character in the film? I'll take that last first. <clears throat> what drew me to this character was, this is a real life character. And it's very rare that you actually get a chance to play a real life, you know, person who has done so much for the country. So, it is, it is a complete no-brainer for me to do this character, number one. Uh, and the first part of the question... What was it first? First part? Yeah, the changes. The change is that it's getting more and more real as uh, the character is getting more real. The direction is getting more and more subtle. There are a lot of more nuances in, uh, in uh, what an actor has to do today. So, the typical Bollywood acting that one started off with has uh, now come to, you know, uh, having a very nuanced performances. That's what the public really loves now. So, yeah, the, that change is pretty much, uh, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. Amar ji, my question is to you. Bhavna Nav Bharat. Hi, Bhavna. We have Salman Khan films so many big content-driven stories करते हुए देखा है, Fox में भी, end end में भी आपने बहुत अच्छा, बहुत अच्छी-अच्छी stories choose की थी, लेकिन यहाँ आप producer के तौर पे आए हैं, और ये इतनी आज आज जब हमने इसका trailer देखा, तो बहुत अच्छी लगी, बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कि बहुत अच्छी फिल्म है, लेकिन इस तरह की जो फिल्मों की अगर हम बात करें, तो मैं दो फिल्मों का जिक्र करना चाहूँगा, चाहूँगी, एक राधी जिसको बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार मिला, लेकिन एक दूसरी भी फिल्म आई थी, वो थी रॉ, जिसमें जॉन थे, फिर भी वो उतनी पसंद नहीं की गई। तो पहली फिल्म अपनी इस सब्जेक्ट पे लेते हुए क्या कहीं आपको कुछ डर था, या फिर आपने जानबूझकर ये फिल्म चूज की? डर तो बिल्कुल नहीं था, and I think that was validated by all the people on stage right now because uh, when we took the script to them, uh, whether it was Ronnie who backed it and Sid and Rashmika and uh, you know, Monica at Netflix, I think everybody has enjoyed watching the film, they know it's good material. And uh, so, I was not I think uh, excitement was that a good picture, a good script and it a good picture. So, uh, both Razi and uh, Raw are both good films, but our story is a little different. And um, I think it will engage audiences across, uh, you know, across the globe. I think short answer is Jan Bujkin. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, Gal yeah, right. <laughs> Siddharth, your si Sorry, can I just say this? There was a dancing hand there for a long time, that gentleman with specs. Yes, he's been waiting forever. Can we give him a mic, please? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just cutting. Okay, the so yeah. Been... All right, we'll give it to the first two step. dancing yes, hands then. Been... <laughs> they only... Yeah, yeah. Got it. They're saying, <laughs> the fans. Hi, thank you so much. Uh, hi, this is Mayur from Beyond Bollywood. Uh, unfortunately, I came a little late. I missed the trailer. But uh, my question is, I think Siddharth can answer and also the director. First, you see the trailer. 
Uh, definitely, sir. I'll don't you can be uh, be reassured about that. I'll watch it uh, the moment this press con is over. Uh, obviously, I ask this question uh, as a fan of the genre, and uh, you know, when it comes to these spy films, and especially in the Indian context, you know, uh, I just uh, I wonder whether you know uh, you know these uh, spy activities uh, were perhaps uh, more prominent in that time when technology wasn't that great. You know, where spies uh, would perhaps have easy access to enemy enemy territories. But in today, obviously, you know, with uh, such technological advancement, uh, I wonder, you know, just, uh, I'm just curious to know, you know, whether sending spies, you know, in enemy, enemy territory is now a little difficult. Uh, Siddharth and the director, can you well, throw some light? I've never sent anyone on a mission. Last when I sent someone <laughs> across the border, uh, well, I can only answer as a creative just, uh, person. Just on your, your understanding of, uh, you know, since See, what, whatever we researched uh, in, in recent times or the times that, uh, uh, in the 70s is definitely was very difficult to communicate between countries in the 70s that's why they they were the secrecy or one had to go to a location to make a phone call or they would you know send it by code um, obviously with time technology has changed even how we consume content has changed over the years it was only cinema then today we have Netflix and other platforms to watch so I'm sure um, uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned just purely as an audience uh, I'm sure the, the today's spies have different methods, uh, but we are playing a far more retro or a more original raw uh, spy, even because of the agencies that were formed were, uh, they were, they were new agencies which was formed from India's point of view. And they, they, they had just started systems like these to, to protect the country. Um, so yeah, I can only speak about uh, Mission Majnu and here we are playing, you know, the, the true uh, original OG, uh, you know, people who possibly would have gone to other countries to protect their own. Uh, which, uh, would the director, uh, Shantanu, like uh, to add to it? Okay. See, uh, the thing is that uh, even in that time, it was as difficult, okay? Because uh, people would take that much of protection and when you are going for big stuff, okay? Uh, when you have to find out information, which is very critical, it will be well guarded, right? So it, it, it's not that, that the, at that time there was no, uh, we didn't have, today's technology uh, means it was easy. It was never easy, okay? Today we have technology uh, on both the sides, yeah. the spies and the people who are guarding the secrets. Secret, correct. So that more or less remains, you know, throughout uh, ages, I suppose. I don't know whether I've answered the question. Yeah, Fair thanks. enough. Just I wanted a, like a, as a perspective, as a filmmaker, as an actor, you know, who do research uh, on these subjects. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Siddharth, you are sitting MC. All the hands are going to be dancing. Siddharth or Rashmika, you have two questions. Siddharth, your center. Here, here, center. Rahul, you're from the Filmi Charcha. First of all, Happy New Year, you all. The new year has started and the first mission you have to do Rashmika and Chiddarth, the first mission will be done in 10 days. Apart from film, personal IP, film and web series, is there such a mission that you are very excited about in 2023? Look, I am a very passionate actor. For me, personal life and professional life are both one. So, now, this mission is only for 20 January. After that, if you have a meeting, you will tell me. Only 20th Jan, I'm going to listen to you. Just the release and kill it this year, yeah. Hello, yeah. So that, what I would like to know is, first of all, happy birthday in advance. Thank you. And uh, the trailer is really looking uh, like a good balance between realistic and exciting action packed. Uh, playing a spy obviously comes and mode, uh, so if it's a real life spy, it comes with its own set of challenges. Now, uh, Indian cinema, though there have not been many espionage thrillers, the few ones that have come have been really good. And as we have seen, there have been certain spy universes. First, Neeraj Pandey was creating whom we have worked with. And now we see the virus spy universe. Now, even though this is a realistic character, we have seen in the West how Tarantino has taken realistic uh, history and turned it into fiction. 
would you be keen would you be keen even after this movie probably to see this grow as your own spy franchise how exciting that would be um well i would love to actually it's something it's a genre that i believe in and i think it's extremely entertaining to play um though again correcting the tonality of the film this is not a james bond character which would live on uh, he is somebody that would get hurt he somebody would get injured he somebody would be stuck and not have uh, you know the 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 technology or always an escape plan um but that being said separately i think yes uh, there have been there have been fiction